everybody, my name is Markiplier, and welcome to The Terrible Old Man. Now, this is based on an H.P. Lovecraft tale that I actually have not read, but because I'm not a child at heart, I'm actually a bitter old man who hates the world, and every generation of the mind doesn't know what's best for this country, and also get off my lawn! So with that limited knowledge, I'm going to do what terrible old people do best, make assumptions on things that I don't know about. So anyway, there's this guy sitting at a bar. He's very old and very terrible. He's just sitting there hating life and hating everyone. Then all of a sudden, Cthulhu pops through the doors, tentacles everywhere. It's like a bad job. Japanese hentai! <laughs> so anyway, the tentacles go out and kill everyone, it doesn't do anything else to them, it just murders them, that's totally fine. And then Cthulhu sits down with the old man, and they look each other in the eye and they know they both hate minorities. And <laughs> or I could just shut up and play the game and then you could experience what the story actually is instead of my stupid rambling. Oh man. So Angelo, when are we gonna blow this joint? I imagine that guy's Irish. Nice lips. I say we head out tomorrow. It's a few hours drive to Boston. How long are we staying there for? Oh, I'd say just a night. We gotta keep moving there, Muggsy. And then we're back to Arkham Asylum, eh? Yeah, that's right. I've been talking to this guy up there who might be able to get us some action, you know. Say, speaking of action, look at that dame over there. She's got something going on, doesn't she? Oh, that dame there? I think she's got four boobs going on there. I'm not entirely sure what's happening down there. Incredible! Oh, incredible! Oh, Ch Chanik, Susanik, Chanik. I'm pretty sure that's Chanik, like Czechoslovakia. <sighs> Czechoslovakia! Why don't you get your pasty ass over there and give her your best line? Uh, maybe I will. Maybe I will. And get her some beers while you're at it. You still got some cash from the old broad the other night. Yeah, I got a few bucks left. I don't have a dime. Hell, that woman you know, was so old she couldn't even get out of the house to spend her godforsaken dollars. Bet old Manuel here spends it on hooch. Oh, sorry, let me do that right. Yeah, bet old Manuel here spends it on hooch, then let us sit here gathering dust for the other two years she bites it. I like how my voice is just changing. <clears throat> changing for every character at every time they speak. Oh, damn right. Except for that guy. Well then, get us some beers, boy! Okay, left click to interact, right click to observe, four inventory and settings, move cursor to the top screen. Don't expect me to keep any voices throughout the entirety of this! Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna say hi to that lady over there. Hey, how you doing? Mmm, mmm. Say there, miss, can I have a word with you? Uh. Leave me alone, gre- Leave me alone, greaseball! Hey, hey, hey! No need for that kind of language, lady. I'm merely trying to conversate. Hmm. Go conversate elsewhere. Maybe to your mother. Oh, man. All my voices are just gonna be the worst this entire thing. Ha! Strike out again, Shazanic! Sue yourself. Fine. Whatever. I'll be back when I get the beers. Not the beers like the ring. I'm not gonna get you a ring, lady. You don't deserve it. Three beers over here. Um, hey, where are you guys from? Boston? Innsmouth? None of your goddamn business. Just give me some beers. Hey, this is my bar. You watch your manners, stranger. Folks are nice here in Kingsport. We look after each other. Three beers. Way I order. Please. Oh, oh shit. Oh, that didn't break anything. We're back. I don't know what happened. That'll be two dollars, my boy friend. Okay, so it said, yeah, okay. Oh, it's one of these types of games. Barman, take my money. I have exactly two dollars. Two dollars, right here. Three beers, I'm enough. He's rocky. I imagine that guy's rocky. Maybe Josh Johnny, the barrel is dry. I'm gonna have to roll, roll up a new one. Sit tight. Back in my boxing days. Stay. Oh, Dickie eating his dinner yet? I swear, whoa, your eyes are just a little bit off there, bro. We sat a whole chocolate cake in front of his face and he didn't so much as blink. The boy's been affected. You taking him to see Doc Reeves? He'll get to the bottom of it. Well, he's only been acting strange since his run-in with the old fellow the other night. The terrible old man. I shouldn't let the boy out so late. What happened? You know that very old man? A former sea captain of some sort. You see him around town, pays for his groceries and golden doubloons. I've heard about him, yeah, feeble and ancient. I hear he talks to bottles he has lined up on the table inside his house. How would someone know that? Calls him names like Spanish Joe and Maid Ellis. This is a lot of very specific information. Yeah, most peculiar chap. Best avoided, I think. No need to upset such old, terrible people. Something you need to teach Dickie, that boy ain't right. Bit of respect. So what happened was Dickie threw a stone at his window. Oh, that was in the beginning. And the old man caught him in the act. Gave him a good talking to, I bet. Dickie won't talk about what exactly happened. 
Oh dear. Brr, he's a stupid boy. You go around throwing stones at old folks' window and well, they aren't gonna be happy no matter how feeble they are. I've told him he's not leaving the house for a month, apart from going to his lessons. Yeah, that's right. That's discipline right there. He must be quite a scary sight for a young lad to face. Fancy that using gold coins as currency? Man must be sitting on a fortune. Tell me about it. I heard a Captain Clipper ships in the east uncountable years back and brought back untold treasures from the depths. The depths. Sorry about the way. Here's your beers. Yeah, I heard a very interesting story. Uh, thanks. Uh, hey, boys. Hey, boys. Muggsy. Hey, Muggsy. You see? We got a job here. Boys, you're not going to believe it. You got a date with the broad? He wishes. I think we got ourselves a job tonight. Yeah. Well, spit it out, then. I heard these two chaps speaking about a crazy old man who lives in town. So rich he pays for things in gold doubloons. Heck! Gold doubloons. Yeah, he's got a room in his house where he stands there talking to bottles. A rich and senile old fart. Ha, sounds like the cinch. The cinch. Let's get in there tonight and see what he's got to offer. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This should be fun. Where's the old man's house, then? I don't know. They didn't say. Find out, Susannic. Find out, and we may find riches tonight. Okay. Hey! Hey, buddies! I was just eavesdropping on your conversation. Say, fellas, what was this old man you guys were talking about an old man around this park? I just happened over here something about an old man rich bathing the balloons. What's it to you, stranger? Oh, I just overheard your story. He sounds like a character. Indeed he is. Shuffles about his king dropping gold all over the show. Hmm. You said something about bottles? Sometimes people see him through his window with a lineup of curious bottles sitting on a table. Each bottle has some sort of object inside, pendulum some say, and he's seen, been seen to chat with him, waving his arms about, or his tentacles because he cooked Hulu. I'm afraid the old chap has lost his mind, too much time to see. He was a sea captain? Yeah, though back in a time nobody remembers. Rumor has it he spent decades in the Far East. Let's see. You guys from Kingsport? Born and bred. Me too, where are you from? Ah, uh, suburb of Boston. City boy, eh? A cosmopolitan type. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. Let's see. What else do you know about him? You're asking a lot of questions, stranger. Hey! They're trying to be friendly, bro! Trying to progress the story. Oh, yeah, leave you be. Where's the old man live? That's oddly specific. His house is along the coast, a crumbling ancient pile it is, too. One of the oldest houses of Kingboard Adventure. What's the address? This isn't suspicious at all. Oh, you're thinking of visiting him, are you? Why on earth would you want to see him for? A treasure, hunter, are you? Oh! What? No! Good! The last thing we need in this town is outside is bringing the wayward criminals with them! So why do you want to know his address? Why should we trust you outsiders? Oh. Oh. Is one of these actually the right answer or are they all wrong answers? Uh. We wish to interview him for the local paper! You know, cause I'm not from here. Well, yes, what's the name of the local paper? Oh. The Hinks were No, that's too obvious. The Telegraph, because the Times... The Telegraph! Oh, shit. You, sir, are a pathological liar. How dare you? Okay, right click. This guy looks like my cousin Peter, but cousin Peter he ain't. Well, good observation there, dick. Some local goon. There's one mighty fine-looking broad. What you doing in this pit of a town, I don't know. Yeah, maybe the bartender knows something about the dude. What do you know about the rich old man? Do you know about a rich old man who lives in town? Can't say I do. You must. I don't gossip about locals, sir. It's a respectable town. Yeah. Let's see, what can you tell me about those two guys at the bar? Hey, we're right here! Mind your own business, man. <laughs> well, he's dead. What can you tell me about that broad over there? She's in here working all the time. I look like she's up to match. What's the line of work? Why don't you ask her yourself? Later. Let me know when you want those drinks refilled. Okay. So, I, no, I've already observed her. Time to go talk to her and see if she knows something, because maybe she do. Nah, you, not you again. I'm busy. Yeah, what are you working on? Apart from looking pretty. <laughs> well, I might not look busy, but my job requires a lot of thinking. Yeah, what's your vocation? I'm a journalist. Oh, me too! I work for the local paper! Oh, we should have a date. Ah, oh, I'll buy you flowers. Whoa, big shot. Why am I talking to you? Say, you write for the paper? I'm gonna stop doing the girl voice. Yes, the Kingsport Daily Star. Oh, interesting. Now get lost before I write an article about outsiders pesting local women at bars. 
Okay, okay. Put your knickers back on, lady. Oh, man. So now I know the name of the paper. Now I can tell them I had the right idea. I just didn't know. All right, the boy, you still want his dress. How do you, how do you know we can trust you outside? We did an interview for the local paper. The Kingsport Daily Star. I got mixed up before. We are the first. Hey, me. Ha, huh, whatever. I don't remember where I work. Ha, huh, whatever. It don't matter. Nonsense. It's the truth. We are journalists from Boston. We do freelance work. Sounds like the old man could give us great story. Imagine the tales he must have. Tales of exploration, treasure, and chivalry. You know what? Go ahead. I don't really believe you, but this is getting annoying now. The old man lives up on Water Street. His property backs up onto Ship Street near the shore. Thanks, I appreciate it. Boys! Boys, we got the address! Good work there, Channy boy. Where is it? Back entrance is on Ship Street by the harbor. They can't hear us talking about how we're gonna rob them, but we're gonna- Hey! We passed that street on the way here. It's just a flu shoe box away. Chanik, you take the car. Silva and I will go on foot and meet you at the place. It's better if we arrive separately. Nice plan. Let's go, boys. There's treasure to be had. Oh, boy. I can't wait. Oh, boy. We're not gonna die horribly from an old man who's really Cthulhu. Later that evening, when the ominous music starts to play, that's when the- all right, we're here. What's the plan, boss? Silver, you and I will go through this gate. Chanik, you stay and watch. Okay, you two are gonna die. Before we do anything, though, looks like there's a light on up there. Chanik, you have a better look. We gotta make sure he ain't watching us. Oh, okay, I can't see what's in the window. I got a spyglass someplace. Uh, someplace? I don't know where. Uh, don't play a dime for the clue. Where's my spyglass? Oh, of course, my spyglass would be here, right? Car key. Automobile. Okay, how about the trunk? Yes! I am smart! I'm so smart! I'm smarty, 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 smart, smart, smart. Oh, doesn't fit this kid for the ignition. I hate that part, apparently. Okay. Mmm, the one of you maybe have the... The trunk is locked by a solitary padlock. Guys, give me the goddamn key to the trunk! You're holding up the story! We need to get through it because everybody's waiting for the old man to kill you guys. You don't have the key to the trunk, do ya? No, I don't. Don't tell me you lost the goddamn key, Janik! No, no. Let's see. Do you have the key for the? Do you have the key for the drunk? Oh, balls! I do. Here you go. Uh, don't tell Silva over there. Uh, thanks. Uh, uh, thanks. Okay. All right. So now I got the key because that was a fruitless venture. But here we go. I'm gonna have this my lad in the drunk. Goody goody gumdrops, and then I'll be able to see the old man. I didn't know this game was gonna be so dialogue heavy, but it gives me flexibility. A good rapper always comes prepared. I'm a robber. I rob things! I like to steal from old men! Oh, sorry, did I not yell that loud enough for everyone to see? Spyglass Corbin, it's a mask. Everyone put on your mask, we're gonna have a fun time here. Can I? Oh, there we go, okay. So now... Hey guys, put on your mask. You don't want to be seen, put on your masks. If only the old man would put on a mask. I'm not gonna stand here with that thing on the old See what the old man is doing first. Okay, fine. Let's try to look out for you. That will not achieve anything. You will not achieve anything. Hit it! Hey, there he is, talking to his battles. That looks weird. Don't look my way, old man. He's in there. The silly old fool looks like the easiest target we ever had. <laughs> Good work, Chanik. He really is talking to a bunch of old bottles. As long as we are quiet out here, he shouldn't notice us. He is engrossed in his queer little pursuits. Pathetic! You got our masks in? Yeah, I do. You didn't want to get them before, but I got them for you now, boss. I got them for you now. Here's a mask, boss. Yeah, here's a mask for robbing people. Here's the mask we're gonna put on to rob them. Anybody here? We're gonna rob them with these masks. Okay. Okay, get that gate open. I got a crowbar right here just for that. Have bam. Tink. Oh, that was easy. Never mind then. <laughs> we're in. We're in on the house. We're in. We're gonna rob. Them. Okay. Sorry. I just had to announce that to everybody in the neighborhood. Good work, Janik. Now we're all gonna speak in hush whispers. Okay, Silver, let's go in. How we gonna play it, boss? The old sea dog might not be too loquacious. Loqua- lo loquacious. Wow, that's a word that I don't even know. Concerning his treasures, we may need to make him talk. That's if the gold is even hidden. If he is as sane as we expect, he may have stacks of it piled up all around. Oh, you didn't have any input on that? Okay. Don't go too hard on the old goat. We'll do what we need to do. 
The screams of an old man can be easily muffled. So let's shout about how we're going to make this old man scream and steal his gold. Silver, you've hit the nail on the head. Janik, wait for us in the car. We shouldn't be back in an hour. At the most. Sounds like a plan, Richie. Richie, Richie. Remember. Pizza, do when you're beating up the man. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, okay, is this- oh. Yes, they closed the door behind him for some goddamn reason. Oh, the light went out in the thing. That probably explains why my face will probably be in the other side of the- side of this game. Mm -hmm. Feels taking them so long. <laughs> map, map! Are you- I know that sound. What's happened? They better not have knocked the old fella off. I told him. I told him I said don't go too hard and they'll go. I told him that. I told him. Oh. Ah, here they come. Oh, hey! Oh, hey! How's it going? What are you doing? You just doing the old man shuffle? What? Oh, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey! hey. Oh God! What happened to us? What the hell? Little things make considerable excitement in little towns, which is the reason that Kingsport people talked all that spring and summer about the three unidentifiable bodies, horribly slashed as with many cutlasses, and horribly mangled as by the tread of many cruel boot heels, which the tide washed in. Oh. And some people even spoke of things as trivial as the deserted motor car found on Ship Street, or certain especially inhuman cries, probably of a stray animal or migratory bird, heard in the night by wakeful citizens. But in this idle village gossip, the terrible old man took no interest at all. He was by nature reserved, and when one is aged and feeble, one's reserve is doubly strong. Besides, so ancient a sea captain must have witnessed scores of things much more stirring in the far off days of his unremembered youth. All right, then, that's the end of it. Holy hell, that actually ended more abruptly than I thought it was gonna. I mean, I knew something was terrible was gonna happen when they all decided to go into the old man's house and they were gonna rob him. I knew he was gonna kill him dead. He was gonna kill him horribly. But that was actually really cool because H.P. Lovecraft is, if you, if you don't know H.P. Lovecraft, H.P. Lovecraft is like the grandfather of horror. I mean, not the original, obviously, because no one's the original in anything, but people know him very well for his things. Like Cthulhu, that's his coming up with, and I haven't actually read a- whoa, hey. I haven't actually read a lot about, you know, him, and read a lot of his stuff, but even though I haven't read about it, I know a lot about his stuff. What- what- what, what was that? What was that? You're gonna crash m Oh, don't. Please, no. Please, no. You just exited the game. If my recording got fucked up after all that, please, Please. And we're okay! So I would recommend actually reading some of his stuff because it's pretty incredible to see how the drawing from those ideas spill into a lot of horror ideas to this day. It's really interesting, so give it a try. Thank you everybody so much for watching! Check out the other scary games that I've done in the description below or in the annotations over there. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Oh! That's a spirit ready to die? Go to hell. We are in hell, silly Willie, your own personal private hell. Go to hell. Go to hell. Go to hell. Go to hell. Sure. Alright, whatever. How do you recall them? Uh, anywhere from two to five booze. Bah, God, I have no idea how you go about dealing with that many booze. Fuck me. What?